you ever review the cost estimate of a project? Have you ever wondered what contingency is in a cost estimate? Do you know why a contingency reserve is allocated to a cost estimate? Hi, I am Shore Gorbani. I'm the founder and director of Project Control Academy, a leading provider of comprehensive um, online training programs in project controls. In this episode, um, I'm going to discuss what cost contingency is in a cost estimate and why it's required. Before going into the details of contingency reserve in a cost estimate, let's have the same understanding of what a cost estimate is. You know, a cost estimate is the estimated cost of a project, program, or operation. It is the prediction of the quantity, cost, and price of the resources that is required for executing the scope of a project. Um, on large uh, projects, normally the person who is producing the estimate um, will be a specialist um, cost estimator. But on some smaller projects, you will see a project manager, a project controller, or a business analyst um, prepare a cost estimate. Uh, so no matter who the cost estimator is in a project, the general expectation from a cost estimator uh, is to produce an estimate that is the most likely outcome of the total cost. But this is a common misconception because the base estimate that a cost estimator produces will not usually generate a total estimate um, that is the most likely outcome of the total cost. And you know, the reason is until the project is completed, no one can be 100% certain exactly how much the cost of the project will be. And the basis for the estimate and the calculations used to turn that information into a cost are both uncertain. So these uncertainties are risks to the project. To account for cost uncertainty, contingency reserve may be added to a cost estimate. But what is a contingency reserve in a cost estimate? The Association for Advancement of Cost Engineering, or AC International, has defined contingency as an amount that is added to an estimate to allow for uncertain items, conditions, or events um, that experience shows will likely result in additional costs. Now, let's see the definition of PMI on cost contingency. According to PM Bog Guide, uh, the fifth edition of the guide, cost contingency reserves are the budget within the cost baseline that is allocated for identified acceptable uh, risks for which mitigation responses are developed. So, contingency reserve is an estimated amount added to a project base estimate to cover the inherent project risks. Cost contingency reserve is the estimated cost of risks that um, uh, probably would happen based on past experience, but with some uncertainty regarding uh, their exact amount. So the cost estimator is aware of those risks and based on his or her experience, can even estimate their likely costs. That's why um, cost contingency reserve sometimes is referred to as estimated cost of known unknowns that can affect the project. An example of uh, the known unknown estimated cost is the cost of rework on some project deliverables. The rework um, can be uh, anticipated, but the amount of this rework is not known, right? So the contingency reserve is estimated to account for this known unknown amount of rework. It is important to note that a contingency reserve 
is only meant to cover the known unknown costs that would be in the project scope of work, but had not yet been defined. That means that cost contingency doesn't include the project scope changes. Those changes should be managed where? Yes, they should be managed through the uh, change management system, not through the contingency reserve. Contingency also doesn't include unexpected, extraordinary events, let's say, such as natural disaster or a labor strike. Other items, um, including design allowances, management reserve, escalation, and profit are also excluded from the cost contingency. Now, with the understanding of cost contingency reserve and why it is allocated in the total project cost estimate, the question is whether the contingency reserve fund will be utilized in the course of project execution or will be set aside. What do you think? You know, there is a tendency for um, people who are not involved or unfamiliar with cost estimate development to view contingency as an inflated reserve fund to increase the chance of finishing the project on budget or making some profit. Some may try to limit contingency to a fixed percentage of the base estimate or in some cases delete it entirely. But contingency reserve forms an essential and integral part of the cost estimate. It is neither a potential profit nor is used for sandbagging the estimate. It is used to cover the cost of potential risks and uncertainties in the project. Therefore, cost contingency reserved is released or consumed by the project team as each of those risks is passed. Contingency is usually included uh, in budgets as a control account. So as risks occur on a project and money is required to pay for those risks, the contingency can be transferred um, uh, from a control account to an appropriate account that need um, the contingency amount or the contingency reserve. But contingency funds should not be spent without proper cost control. Remember that it needs authorized the cost management system in place for releasing the contingency. Now, you might question how contingency is properly utilized and managed then. Well, you know, there is no generally accepted uh, approach to contingency management. Some organizations uh, may place it under the control of project manager. Some hold it centrally and demand a careful justification for funds to be released. Others may delegate part of the contingency down to management, holding some at the business level, some at the project level, and some at the work package level. These are the details that uh, depend on your organization's general management practices and its cost management system. So it depends on how you manage your costs in your organization. Then you might uh, treat this differently in regards to releasing and managing contingency in projects. The bottom line is that contingency should be expected to be spent in the development of the project but with proper and authorized cost control. So in summary, cost contingency is a reserved fund that is added to a base cost estimate to account for cost uncertainty. Contingency reserve is not intended to absorb uh, the impacts of scope changes, escalation, and unforeseeable circumstances beyond management control. It is the money that is expected to be spent and controlled. I hope now you are more clear on what cost contingency is in a cost estimate and why it's required. 
So my friends, stay tuned for the next episodes of Project Control Mastery to learn more about cost contingency, how contingency reserve is estimated, and what its difference is with management reserve, escalation, and design allowances. So stay tuned for the next episodes uh, of Project Control Mastery, where I'm going to open up the concept of cost contingency more. If you have any question or comment about this episode, um, don't forget to submit them down below. Also, if you like this uh, training, please hit the like button and share it with your connections. Until next time, do your best in everything that you do, my friend, and make a difference.